diamonds, no filter. Yeah, yeah, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. Another episode of Doggy Diamonds No Filter. I'm going to do a quick one this time because we got some business that we got to get right into. <laughs> I'm going to introduce the person to my left, a uh, legendary Busy B, like legendary pioneer veteran. Busy B to the left. We got B Stinger to the right, a.k.a. y'all know him as Ronald Savage, but he's really B Stinger, right? Yep. <laughs> B Stinger from the Bronx. Yep. And Busy B, where you from? Oh, man, don't even try. <laughs> you know where I'm from, man. Boogie Down Bronx, man. You don't even start that. <laughs> Boogie Down Bronx. Yeah. Um, legendary, legendary. Are you a legend in your mind? Um, I, I perceive a more like an icon okay. in my culture. Because some people say legends are dead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm still looking good, still ready to rock the house, still doing... I'm going to start a movement, man. The mm. movement is getting ready to get down. We, it's, it's getting ready to go down, man. And the name of the movement is... Hip hop movement. Hip hop movement. Um, after all these years, the, the, you've been around since the inception of what we call hip hop today. Right. Why in 2017 did you just decide to just put it's all enough. this together? Enough is enough, yo. Okay. I mean, enough is enough. I, I, I watched it from '77. I started when we when I watched it. It was free. Mm -hmm. Then we got a couple of hundred dollars. Then we got a few dollars. Then it became. Uh, then the corporations jumped in, and then they. I mean, they they fed a lot of families. Don't get it me wrong. They took a lot of MCs, a lot of rappers. Then they made some rappers, and then they did some stuff, and that's fine. They made, they gave a couple of MCs some money, some rappers some money. But now in this culture, they use us a lot for escape ghosts as well, and that's what I'm mostly tired of. Because okay, I'm not mad at the corporations using us to give money because then some of these guys they got families, they got kids, they got to take care of their families. Sure. Um, but at the end of the day, when a DJ who is coming up, who's not well known in the culture of hip hop or as a DJ in the, in the sense of a, a well known DJ, they use that for their escape goal. Hip hop DJ shot this person. Hip hop DJ. No, no, that's not. That's not. A so a lot of the DJ. negative is blamed on yeah. hip hop. Yeah, okay. and, and and I'm tired of that. Then also. It's not too much of the point that the companies are giving the rappers money to feed their family, but then they're not only giving them money, but they're giving them money in a fashion to where's that they're not understanding the culture to where's that there's a bigger uh, profit than that. There's a bigger thing than just giving that one rapper that Your money. reputation. Right. Do the preservation so, of hip hop so, so, on the so whole. Me, for me, what I did and what I'm trying to do and what I'm doing is representing the whole communities, all of them, from from the West Coast, from the East Coast, from the Spanish rappers to the Mexican rappers to the to the English rappers. I mean, hip hop took over the planet. Global. That's number one. So there's no place on planet Earth that you don't see a beatbox, a DJ, a break dancer, a graffiti artist, a rapper. You understand what I'm saying? So in total, in all. There's a lot of things that's being misconstrued in our culture that I would like to straighten out. I believe I can do that. I can believe I can hit that because I am one of the founders of the culture. I am not the founder, but I am one of them. And for one of them that to be represented as an MC, that's one of the most important because we got the MC, we got the DJ, we got the beatbox, we got the graffiti. And then a lot of DJs is not even mentioned who mm -hmm. came up along in the program and in the beginning of this culture who's not even mentioned. And that's not right because, I mean, for me, one of the founders who I believe is the founder of the culture of hip hop is a guy named Disco King Mario. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and Mario yeah. was, I rapped with Mario. So, I mean, how could you remember me and don't, and don't can't say you don't remember him? That was my DJ. I then from there, Africa, Islam, Zambu, I mean, the list go on. But, I mean, we used to talk about Cool Herc, we talk about Grandmaster Flash, we talk about Africa Bambada. But, I mean, Mario did a lot as well. He, he, he's one that actually started, I mean, there was times he loaned Bambada's systems. Yep, yeah. He needed wow. speakers, a mixer. He went to Mario to get it. And so, I mean, to, so, so much in that in a nutshell, but then again, our communities is, is going down. We need, everybody talk about the kids. Okay, fine. Kids is cool. But right now, this is a podcast. I can believe I can say what I want. You can right? say whatever the hell right? you want. Fuck them kids right now. Uh -huh. we, we need the adults. Okay. I need the mothers and fathers of those same kids y'all mad at. I can't do nothing to those kids. I okay. can't touch those kids. I'm going right to jail soon I do that. Yeah, 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 but if yeah. I go get their mama or their dad and say, hey, man, your son fucking the party up, man. They can do it. Yeah. They can do what they want. So you want the parents to start so parenting. I need the, I need the parents to help me start parenting. There's a lot of parents, in the, and even in the urban areas where, where we mainstream is at. 
it's a little hurt. We got the drug problem, we got the pill problem, we got the dope problem. So there's a lot of construction workers, there's a lot of builders, there's a lot of nurse assistants that lost their job for a joint or might have sniffed the coke one day and the urine was dirty, but they didn't lose them skills. So me, I would like to buy, get a nice building. I could do workshops. I can help the kids. The parents can help the kids with that. The parents can help me get to grab the rest of the kids and come on. And then when, if we have a problem in Indiana, say we have a problem in Indiana in hip hop, mm -hmm. they can call us. We can go over there and help. Now, maybe the people in Indiana can't talk to that rapper like mm -hmm. they want to. Busy B could. I can go in there and say, player, what's the problem? Yo, biz, man, they trying to. Okay, this is what we need to do. And we can straighten that all out. They don't want to talk to you because you're ready to go on flip. So, come on, let's do it. I'll go with you. you how, could, how could people get in contact with this organization right now? Oh, well, okay, my son, B Stinger, everybody know around said that's my son. Okay. <laughs> son of Chief Rocker. Okay, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, you, you call him. We got an email address. We, we actually still working on our website. Okay. Because you like the beginning. This yes, is like the yeah, beginning. No, so I'm this a, is we, brand new to everybody, just like it's brand new to you as well. Mm -hmm. So, we still in the working process of doing what we're doing. Uh, uh, which is like putting our email stuff together, making our website official enough for everybody to understand it. Uh, um, um, and we're still doing stuff like that. So at the end of the day, our word is, tra is, is uh, trademarked. Our symbol is official. So hip hop um, movement is, right. it's that's official. it. Okay. It's official. 100% yeah. we, we, we have the 501c3, so we can get money from other these corporations. These same corporations, the Sprites, the, the, the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the people that used us rappers and us MCs and their commercials to build so people can go buy Big Macs and stuff like that. Okay, come and help us build in the culture. How do you feel about um, some of the corporations that have used some of the rappers for the Molly purposes well, see, and some of the destruction? Okay, okay well, that's, that's where I'm going to. Okay. So if you, if say for instance, you one of those companies mm -hmm. and Busy B come knock on the door. Now you pay two chains, maybe $300,000 to promote whatever you were selling. I don't want, I don't need the 300000 but I mean, give us some money so we can help these 500 people help do some stuff and build so we can keep our peace, love, unity and having fun. Our whole thing is peace, love, unity and having fun. We're not about no drama. Everybody in the culture of hip hop can continue doing what they're doing. Make your money. Do what you want to do. It's just now we have a spokesperson. I'm here for the communities if you need some help. If you need some uh, 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 teaching and, and stuff, I can come and do that. I can bring other rappers to teach kids how to rap. I can bring other people to teach them how to work business. I can teach people how to paint. I have painters under my skills. I have building construction workers under my skills. Lost their jobs for a joint, for, for maybe being late, been on a job 20 years and missed two days and lost his job. Now, some things I can understand when you hear this man went and blew up everybody in the office. That man been there for 30 years is and he told you he needed three weeks or two weeks and you told him if he take a week off extra he gonna lose after 30 years he did for you he needs seven days oh I didn't blame some of the people for going crazy but at the end of the day our culture our movement is about the peace our love unity and having fun and if you peep those out if you doing any of that then you living all right you know, so you're just trying to bring back some of the balance back, too, because everything is all the yeah, way crazy. Everything now. is all crazy. So it's fucked right. up. We, want, we, we can have one word, one person. We, we all can listen. Then we have one word to talk to. So you don't have to talk to that person, that person. No, he said, he said, she said. We can leave all the he say and she says alone now. And we can fix the problem. Then we have nobody to blame. We can continue on doing what we're doing. The culture of hip hop is a, is a, is a culture. Movement is what we get ready to represent okay. now. So we can bring everybody. So for instance, the, the Ferguson thing down in Florida. You might have maybe one or two rap. You might have had a Common. You might have had a Talib Kweli. Okay, that's fine. Individual rappers got their own mm -hmm. name, say and everything. But now you bring the movement with that, then we can talk to these people again that you can't communicate with. Because you're scared because you see them with chains on. You're scared because you see them looking different. But we, you can go talk to them. I'll show you. Yo, Al, let me, yeah. hey. let me ask you something from your standpoint. When did it change? Like, because I know at 90s. one point, the 90s. 90s. Mm -hmm. But I love the 90s, though. Like, right. That was like, we see, look at that as the golden era. See, now, and then, and, and it was. Mm -hmm. Because between the Easy es the, the West Coast bringing mm -hmm. in the gangster stuff. Now, when I say they brought in the gangster stuff, not saying the violence. 
They okay. just brought the lyrics to the people that we understood on the streets. And they spoke about what they went through. So that wasn't bad because they just expressed their feelings of what went down. What turned it is when the corporations came in and started making MCs. Uh, you understand? Got so you. this guy, he can rap, but he's not an MC. He's not a guy that built his thing. He's not a guy that went through the changes. You gave him two hundred thousand. This rapper been doing it for twenty years, and he ain't only even seen thirty thousand dollars. He wish he could. Yeah. And you made that man feel, boy, just like in the NBA, they making LeBron look like Michael Jordan. You can't do that. Yeah. It's yeah. errors. It's different errors. You know what I'm saying? He's the king of his era. Mike was the king of his era. You can say them two was good. Because they were, and they are, just like Magic Johnson. But they, they try to make it, you got to do something better to top that. So we can say, he ain't worrying about what we can they say. They worried that. about the torch of the NBA right, being carried. Right, right. That's why I like the commercial Mountain Dew. Yeah. He said, don't do they, yeah. do you. When, when, you um, when you was coming up in the game, um, did you freestyle a lot? Everything was freestyle, yeah, everything, right? everything, almost everything. How did you freestyle? for? Because you were freestyle for a long time. I would just come in. Me, I, for me, it was always... To me, I say I probably was probably born for this shit. Okay. Because I just come in, I look at the crowd, see it all, everybody having fun, and just want to say some nice stuff to that beat and keep it going. Not the, yo, hold up, hold up. Listen to me. Yeah. That ain't the shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Ain't, that, you just fuck the whole vibe yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then you might say some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you done fucked up the whole thing. Now somebody know who you is. You know what I'm saying? So but for me... The feeling is rocking and people rocking, and I'm trying to keep that going. So I have to say my name for this, like, who is that? Oh, that's Busy. Busy just rock this. You know, I don't say my name a hundred times. I don't do all of those things. And then, you know, people say, what's the difference between then and now? Well, then I'll give all of my rappers the, the most high respect because from the Big Daddy Kings to the KRS-1s to the Rod Kims to, the, to myself to the, to the Biz Markies, and all those name brand old school icons of hip hop, when we made albums and we went in that studio, we went by ourselves. I didn't call Big Daddy Kane to feature with me to sell records. I didn't call Biz Markie. To, I wanted to beat those guys. I wanted to sound better or do better than those guys. You know who guys. my favorite rapper of all time is, right? No. Big Daddy Kane. So uh, everybody knows that. that. That's my dude. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. understand? So, you know, we went gold and platinum by ourselves. Without we ain't need no yeah. help. Yeah. And, and then nobody giving Melly Mel. Oh, the Nobody message giving is, Melly Mel the message is top five records but, of all time. But let me hit you in the head with this too. Actually, Melly Mel is the first rapper to even start R and B with rappers mm -hmm. with Shaka Khan. Let me rock. I feel for you. Yeah, I feel for you. That's the first mm -hmm. rapper to rock with an R and B. Wow. To after that, everybody used the rapper. I was just for listening to that yesterday. Fact. Everybody. They a lot of people don't know that that's Melly Mel though. You know that, right? Hey, well. Yeah. You, I, you I your actually, homework on everything you know what else. Yeah, exactly, right? You know yeah. I actually think, you know, my favorite rhyme from Melly Mel, I love the message, but I think the Beat Street rhyme is better than the message. The, 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 um, Ramon, the Beat Street. Right? The Ramon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he broke Probably it the down. bomb gets right. the last word. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was, Melly Mel so, is a beast. there it is. There's no new rapper, and let's go back 10. I'll give you that benefit. That has an album by itself mm -hmm. or a record by itself. And gave you 16 bars of straight up real. For Dolo. Right. Without, without 20 none. features, yeah. There's none. Um, if there is, I'm, I'll yeah, wait. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you something. <laughs> the Get Down, did you see that? No, but I heard about it. And I heard they used a lot of... What's, what I do like about and what I heard about it already is good. Because now the new white audience and the new young kids and the white that's following the hip hop. Well, if they meet me now, they'll understand me. Okay. They'll know, mm -hmm. that's Busy B. Wow. And then all I got to do is do some fly shit. Yeah, yeah, And I'm yeah. back on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the good part about it. So I haven't seen it to say, well, this is what I really feel. But from the streets, from what I'm hearing, how I went down, it's a good look. You was in um, Wild Style. Right. Um, being Busy B. You was Busy right. B in, in the right. movie. Right. Did you know that you was making something that was going to be like a no, big no. pop cultural icon movie? No, but what I did notice when, the, when it came out, the premiere night. Now, you got to go back. 
80, 79, 81. You I know? wasn't. I was. So, yeah. so I'm saying, yeah, you I was. Yeah. Go back to it. <laughs> if you saw your a movie that you was in on 42nd Street, yeah. Times Square, in big bright lights, and then the line went from there to around the corner. You would think you big Michael Jackson yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's what all that, uh, from then I felt like if we can do this, this is going to be all right. And Wild Style played a big, big part in our culture of hip hop for the Grandmaster Flashes, myself, the Rodney C's, the break, the, the Cold Crush Brothers, the graffiti guys, the break mm-hmm. dancers. It did a lot. It did a whole lot. That should be like the masterpiece of the hip hop culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? That movie Wild Style. And you, um, have you ever written a rap? Yeah. Oh, because it seemed like you more just could just grab but, a mic but, and but just. I, I didn't write, when I, when I say I read it, wrote it, I didn't put it on paper. Oh, okay. I'll always remember it, knowing I said it. And the only time I actually put stuff on paper is when I got with cool DJ AJ. Okay. You know, AJ was my DJ at one time. Or AJ Curtis Blow DJ? Yeah. Wow. We wrote If I Ruled the World, we wrote. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out. Y'all wrote <laughs> Curtis Blow rounds? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, Curtis Blow, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Because I always I, heard AJ wrote it, but I didn't know you was in on that. That was my song. I was yeah. his MC. Wow. He, Curtis Blow was getting ready to do the movie and he was rolling with, even up in the Bronx with the people. That's my song. That's Busy B. Wow. <laughs> AJ was a little upset with me because, and then he wasn't too much upset with me. The voice sound like how you would say that's it. That's my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Plain. You know, that's how me and AJ started our shows, period. We had started off like turn the music down. Um, two weeks ago, when the place to be, they were standing in line to see AJ and me. I pulled up to the curb in the 98, and then I rushed inside so it won't be late. The Party was packed where you couldn't even move, and now everybody's rocking to it. And AJ will play some joint. Ah, everybody go crazy. And then uh, up in the Bronx with the people of Fresh Day with one DJ. Same I'm not saying that shit is the same. Same shit. It makes that, sense. That yeah. Wow. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hip hop history right here. Busy <laughs> B wrote the, AJ. A, that was my shit too. And then we got a song a, that we never put out. So we were scared to put it out because this was one group and one company that we heard if anybody used this track, we'd have got in trouble. Okay. And it was called Trans Europe Express. Oh, and let me mm-hmm. tell you the song because somebody used the song. I, know, I can tell you who used that it. track. Who used it? Planet Rock. Nope. Hold up, Trans Europe, that is um, something. No, no, but I'm saying no. um, the song, we called it New York's the Best. Okay, okay. And it was for, off of Trans Europe Express. Okay. And, um, it went, you know how trans, yeah, Europe, Europe yeah. express, you don't hear it in the song? New York is the best. <clears throat> mm. New York is the best. And we were going to use it in that same trance. Yeah, yeah, the vocoder. Yeah. Right. We yeah. were going to use that. Now, back then, nobody did that. No two pain. No, yeah, T pain. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. It was none of that yeah, then. Yeah, and yeah. we actually wrote our rhymes because. Uh, you remember the Pope came back to New York back yes, then? Yes, yes. I mean, all that was in the rhyme. Mm. All of these stuff was in the rhyme. That was the only good rhyme. And I still got the pay. God bless the soul, AJ. Bless yes, the peace. recipes, AJ. So, but I still have that. I still have that. And then I have the Up in the Bronx. With it. That was, was our song, Candy Girl. Came from If I Ruled the World. Wow. New edition. We brought new edition to Harlem. Candy Girl Ruled the World. That was how we wrote the song. Wow. <laughs> You understand? So what y'all I mean? was a part of writing Candy Girl too? Yeah, no, no, no. We okay. Part of writing okay. Candy Girl. We used the hook from Candy oh. Girl to if I rule the world. That's how oh, we found it. Oh, okay. If Some I of the cadence. The world, okay, yeah. From Candy Girl. So, wow. If so you say, oh. World, mm. If I rule the world. That's how we did it. Wow. We did it off of Candy Girls. Bobby Brown, Ron, those was, they was little guys. Yes, yes, they yes. Was, you ask them. We used to call uh, uh, Ronald. Uh, nickels, because mm. you used to have the little nickel bags. <laughs> <laughs> we used to call them nickels. Mm. He'll say, "Busy B, who are you talking about? Wow. You know, me, Ralph Trasvan. I mean, the real crew. Yeah. Ralph Trasvan. We, you understand what I'm saying? So, uh, hip hop to me, I loved, saved my life. And then when I say saved my life, I wasn't a bad guy. Mm-hmm. I grew up with a lot of the gangster guys that stole stuff, sold drugs, and stuff like that. I did a lot of that. I went around a lot of that, mm-hmm. but I wasn't that. I came out of that, and never say won't came out of that, but I've chose to do the rap 
They chose to go here. Some became basketball player. Walter Berry, Mark Jackson. They was friends of mine. Yes. They played professional basketball. Chris yeah. Mullen. I mean, they said, hey. St. John's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, this is the family of So to say I, I run a movement, I qualify. For my son to do it, this is my son. He got yeah. qualified. Yeah. He ain't yeah. no if, ands, or buts about that. Yeah. And then he doing the paperwork, so he got some brains. So we got, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. We, we got brains in our family. Everybody ain't stupid. The hip hop movement is run by good CEOs, representation. We run the communities, we help communities, we the voice of the communities, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the hip hop movement represent, uh, hip hop movement presents to gather the, uh, a cookout so we can talk to everybody. We're gonna have the hip hop movement presents a DJ convention, hip hop movement presents an MC convention, hip hop movement presents the break dance graffiti convention. We're gonna break them down. So you're not mm -hmm. just coming to see MCs every time. You're going to come see all DJs. You're going to come see all break dancers and let them get their stuff off. You're going to see the graffiti art is selling like water. We got graffiti artists that's famous that went from the Bronx to Paris. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. He's big rapping in other languages now. Okay. So yeah. all I'm saying is Especially that Japan and I, all that. I, yeah. I want the other people to understand that this is a bigger than what they actually think mm -hmm. or what they're actually seeing. It's still bigger than that. We have other people and coaches that understand what we hurting over here when they see it on the TVs. They want to like to come and help just as well as we see over there. We want to go help. So now what the sponsors are coming, say for instance, somebody say, hey, what well, Bisbee, I like what you're doing. I want to give you $5 million. Mm -hmm. Okay, that $5 million, it ain't for me. It's going to go, if I see a building, like I said, I might see an old church or old school. I can buy that. Now we can start workshops. We can put people to work. We let me can help y'all put people. Let me to ask work. you something. What responsibility, if any, do you think the Russells, the Leors, the the Jimmy Iovines? I tell you what. I tell you, this is the test. This is it right here. To see mm -hmm. if they, I'm they friends. Just like I can talk to you, I could go to Russell right now. Hey, yo, Russ and Bit, he gonna rap. We gonna talk and eat hot dogs or whatever. We gonna, <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. gonna have chicken wings. So if I tell him I need some help, I'm gonna find out right now. Where y'all at with it? You new to this? I'm new to this. We new together. So we gonna ask all of them. We gonna find out. Yeah. Because yeah. Busy B is legal with this. It's no gimmick. I'm not trying to play no games. I did, the, I did what they did to get their money. They had to do all this paperwork and get all these paperwork and do all this. They had to do the same thing. Well, I did it. And I, did. I, just, I just wanted to let people know the, um, the official elements right. of the hip-hop movement. Okay, go ahead. And that's um, conscious awareness, mm -hmm. civil rights awareness. That's right. Activism. That's right. Justice. That's right. Political awareness and community awareness and music. You know, so those are the official, when you think about the hip hop movement. And when you hear rap guys say, hey, all you bitches and bitches, that's not, our, that's that's not, not what we represent. Yeah. That's not mm -hmm. our hip hop joint. Now, that's a rap thing, and they rapping to their songs. Rap something we do, hip hop something we live. Now, mm -hmm. that's different. Now, we don't want our audience and our people to get it twisted about what rap is and what hip hop is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But we're not telling y'all we coming to get your daughter and lock them in the basement and exactly. do all that. Yeah, that yeah. ain't they rapping about a story that they telling. Most of our actors, rappers and, and famous uh hip hop artists are good actors. That's why you see them in the movies now, because they're very good at we was actors from the beginning. We acting as we rapping on the stuff because some mm -hmm. of them ain't mm -hmm. bust a grape or can ain't gonna crack an egg on <laughs> Easter. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? But they, 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 some of the persons. So this is where if you get twisted, call me. I go straighten it out and show you what it is different. So you can help or be a part or stay away. So you eventually want like a hotline and everything right. set up where people can call. Yeah. Right. And, okay. we, right. We, we have um, a website, which is um, hiphopmovement.org. Okay. So everyone, they can go um, you know, to, the, to the website. Yeah, hiphopmovement.org. Yeah, and just find out, you know, exactly, you know, what the hip hop movement is, what it stands for. Right, and we're working on it so you can be able to show, because we have memberships for t shirts, $20 a year. You get yeah. For the whole year. $20, you'll get a t shirt, logo, you get a certificate. You know, so if we're doing stuff in your community, at least you could tell your friend, say, if we is charging $20, you would get in for $10, your friend, to, to be a member, bring them in as a member. You know what I'm saying? And so we could keep doing this because a lot of things we're doing, we're not trying to make no money. We're not trying to get rich off this. We're doing our stuff free. 
lot of our stuff will be free. Come on out. it's going to be sponsored anyway. Right. Yeah. So you come on out and enjoy yourself so we can show you exactly. And then if you need help, we have our little booths and tables where you can go and talk. Hey, we need help over here. Give us some time. Write it down. Tell us what's the problem. We go to sit down. Can you, um, can you paint the scene for people? Because I don't think people knew when I was growing up. Um, I remember the block parties were so big, right, like see? the the speakers being outside, That's what we and it do would again. be somebody see? like yourself right. that would grab the mic. It that's would be the DJ, be that's exactly and what and, and, and I think that's missing. The it's kids do okay. not know how much right. fun it right. was. A block party was yeah, everything. Was. So there wasn't it no shooting. Wasn't, wasn't no fighting. Right. Nope. It was food, double yep. dutch, skelly. Right. There you go. Everything. So that, that's that's what we're and that's what we're trying to bring back. We trying to do okay because you know it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's been gone. It's been gone. And like I, for so like 20 you years. Me, why yeah. did, okay, it, ain't it time? Yes, no, I miss it. Okay. I miss seeing girls jump double so, dutch. So there yeah. it is. It's yeah. time to go back to having fun. Do what you do. Make your money sure. Enjoy yourself once again. Keep in mind to don't hurt nobody. That's mm-hmm. not what we're about. The hip hop movement is about the peace, love, unity, and having fun. We are the voices of the community. We can be your voice of the community. We can help you be. You can still be the king of your block. But if you need some help, because we all need some help, shout us out. We'll come talk. We can help set up. You're doing block parties and stuff. We can come help with that as well. You need some sponsoring stuff. We can make help with that as well. To make it peace and love, to let people know this is what we're doing, man. Makes mm-hmm. sense. And, and we just wanted to also um, make it clear that. Um, disrespecting women that's, yeah, we, we not is that, but, not but, but a part of the, the movement of hip hop. Right. It's not even a part of the culture, right? You know, because now nowadays you have um, DJs. You know, they they call it hosting when they be having the girls yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. on the flyers and stuff like that, and half dressed and stuff like that. That's not hip hop. You know, that's not where hip hop was meant to be. And but we're gonna show them that because what what we do if they follow us, then they'll see. The parents will understand. Again, we're not talking about the kids. We're talking about the parents. We need the adults right now. So as far as the hip-hop movement, kids, we respect, sure. But we need the parents. We need the adults to hop aboard this ship, to understand what we're doing so we can straighten out this this, uh, economy that we all are living in. So we can do the same thing some of the other people doing. We can get cash checks and make some money. Because if we're making money and having fun, that's it. I mean, who don't want to do that? And and in this in this movement, it can be done. We it can will save be done. A, we can save a lot of people. It will be done. It will be done. Mm-hmm. There it so is. any anybody you want to shout out in closing? Um, well, you know, I I just want to tell them again what the what, what we represent. So they can understand. The, um, the hip hop movement, the official elements of the hip hop movement, is um, consciousness, civil rights awareness, activism. Justice, political, community awareness, and music. You know, so definitely, you know, we are trying to get across, you know, to the rappers that out here glorifying um, selling drugs and, and, and popping the guns and in, 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 in their videos and records. You know, that that's not what it is, you know. I mean, they had their fun. We need to bring it back to peace, love, unity, and having fun because that is the culture of hip-hop. So represent the movement in this honor. And that's all we're saying. I'm coming to knock on the door and ask for some money. So don't yeah. think I'm coming. To, and, and when I say I'm coming to knock on, for some money, not to the rappers. I'm going to the to the to where the rappers got that check from. I'm going to them. To the, the corporations, the McDonald's, the Pepsis, the Sprites, the the, the, the Russell Simmons, the, the, the Puff Daddies. The, the Leo Cohen. The Leo Cohen's. The, mm-hmm. the, 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 even, I mean, Jay-Z want to help some Jay-Z, sometime. you too. I, yeah. I'm going to him. I know his crew, Juan. I know everybody. I mean, this is, a, this is the beauty of it. It ain't a stranger knocking on their door. If they could sell liquor to right. the youth, right. they could do something to help the youth. Right. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Yes. So, And at the end of the day, uh, it's not somebody that you don't know knocking on your door. That's Busy B. Chief Rocker, Busy B. Chief Rocker. That's Chief. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what Chief want? <laughs> Light up something and give them a drink and let's, make some, let's give them some money. On Wikipedia, I just looked up your name and it had your name. Is it wrong up there? It said Busy B Starsky. No, that was... Well, I changed it from the Starsky because I didn't want it no more problems with Love Bug Starsky. Okay, so your name. very beginning. So it's Chief Rocker Busy B. Yeah, because they still have it up there, Starsky, right. though. Right. Because okay. uh, yeah. anybody that say that, then I know they really old school. Okay, yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Hey, yo, Starsky! That was your name at one point? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Busy B Starsky. Yeah, they can also go to Wikipedia for the hip-hop movement. Yes, that's, that's, why, that's right. what I, I mm-hmm. looked on that, that as yeah. well. Um, 
you, like I said, you was around since the inception of a lot. But mm-hmm. when they mention the pioneers, your name is not really called that much. Also, does it, that bother you, or do you be like it, 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 it? Do and it don't, because I say my peers are still afraid of what I can do on that stage. They they they'll see something and don't want me to get it. So this is why I did what I did, because I do it like this: if corporations like the fake one you put together, then you're going to love the real one. I got the mm-hmm. real one right there. The fake one you made, that's the real one right there. Now, I ain't mad at that. He got a family, but now here go the real one. Show the real one some love, too. Or let me show the real one some love. Yeah. Um, you, you, a lot of people that didn't know you knew you from the whole beef DVD, the mm-hmm. whole cool mode D thing mm-hmm. and all that. Looking back in retrospect... Um, where battle rap is big now, like right. it's a big sport. I put a lot of work in, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like and you, so, uh, uh, this you, is this is my highlight, right? But you've been in the game um, 34 since, since the beginning, 77. Right? Since 77, damn, I wasn't mm-hmm. even <laughs> 54. <laughs> yeah, so so it's I, most of your there. life, right? That's most what of I'm your saying. life. All, all my whole teenage years, the whole adult year, everything. Hip hop took me around the planet, and you know what I'm saying. Wow, so, I've been everywhere except Russia and Africa. I've been oh, you ain't go home? No, I ain't Damn. been there. They say you got to take, I'm scared of needles. You got to oh. take needles and stuff, they said, okay. for, the, for the whatever is over there. And whatever Stop over there, lying. They don't got to do that shit. They can stay over there because <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, I'm scared of needles. What's the first big check you got? How much was it? Um, Tokyo. I went overseas in Japan. We stayed 30 days. And I got back home and it was like 2500 That was the biggest check you got? I think I mean, dudes is getting at the walk in the club now. So, yeah, so you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Wow. So now today, I'm still making that same 3000 and 4000 But, and I tell everybody, I'm not a millionaire. Mm-hmm. I'm, not even, I'm not even really a thousandaire. Mm-hmm. But I'm $2.5 in respect. Wow. So I'll take that all day. Yo, on that note, I don't even know what else to say after that. That was that was powerful right there. One more time, give them the website. Yeah, it's uh, hiphopmovement.org. So just Google Hip Hop Movement. Everything is going to come up, all the mm-hmm. information. We got the legendary Busy B. He's B Stinger today because this is all hip hop right here. He's Ron <laughs> Savage when we're doing the, the other interviews and he's on this and political, political stuff. stuff. Yeah, the political right. stuff. But today he's B Stinger. And um, I want to thank y'all for coming. Once everything is really, really up and running, I'll be back. We'll, yeah, we revisit Come it back, and we'll yep. give them everything. Be able to give, give them some props. workshops, give, give them some props. Yep. And talk so, to some other people. Yeah, Busy B, this is a legend right here. Um, watch the movie Wild Style. Just Google his name. Um, he did a lot, and um, you know, I don't give everybody props, but his props is definitely deserved. I made the white boy a household word, Kid Rock. Wow. You know the bob with the bob a dang a dang ding. Actual ding. facts. That's my song. He used it. We got rich. We got famous. Oh yeah. You know we sold. Yeah, they cut a check copies. though, right? Oh yeah. That's yeah. what. That's what made me rich. Now, if you okay. want to say I made a couple of dollars, that did it. Yeah, Kid Rock. Sold, that was sold, his biggest record. We and sold that's eleven shit. million copies. So okay, but, to be exact, now yes, that is but my li- biggest record. But check record. this though, right? This how crazy that is. Let me tell you why this is crazy. Let me set this up for you. Cool Mo D said. Put it on hold. No, he said Put he did that Bob with the Bob shit. Is that he dissed it? I told him. I said, now, how you like the Bob with the Bob now? We 11 Word. million. How you like the Bob to the Bob now? We 11 million strong. And I got a fat check. How you like me now? Wow, yo, that's crazy. And he got a song, How You Like Me Now? So I hit him back, How You Like Me Now? And yeah. he got that from me because back then I used to walk around and say, $500, nigga. How you like me now, bitch? Wow. <laughs> I had money. How you like me now, bitch? I yo, had no money yesterday. How you like me now? 500, bitch. Yo, because that's crazy because. He dissed the Bob, the big Bob, the right. dang with And the Bob, the Bob is rocking. He's still fat and ugly, and I'm still young and pretty, <laughs> and I'm getting money now. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it is. This is Doggy Diamonds. We got B Singer. We got Busy B. Yeah. Chief Rocker Busy B yeah, in the building. Yeah. And he's still good on that mic and toast the field. That's y'all right. Too. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we out of here. Peace. What's up? This is Doggy Diamonds. Make sure you stop by shop.doggydiamondstv.com and pick up your Discipline Snapback and T-shirt. Without Discipline, I wouldn't have been able to lose 117 pounds. So I decided to create a clothing line to reflect my healthy lifestyle change and my mental change. Without Discipline, we're lost. So get you some clothing to help you stay focused like I did. What does the symbol mean? Inside of the symbol 
is the kokulon, which is a West African symbol for discipline and nurture. Around it is a circle with arrows that stands for routine, repetition, and completion. You got all types of colors that you can match up with. So make sure you pick up your snapback and your t-shirt now and your favorite colors for yourself or a friend. Thank you. Doggy Diamonds, no filter. Doggy diamonds, no filter.